Cashmore.com Because nothing makes me more excited. On today's video, we're going over how to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or Xbox Game Pass for PC for free using Microsoft Rewards 2021 Guide. Thank you everybody so much for joining me. And if you like videos like this where I go over how you can get things such as memberships to gaming services, gift cards, extra cash and like on the side using applications and programs like Microsoft Rewards and new by playing games on your mobile device. Please make sure you give a like to the video as it really does help out the channel get this content in front of more people with a good old YouTube algorithm. So as I've gone on over many times in the past but it has changed a bit over the years so I figure I should update it now. You can use Microsoft Rewards to get many things for free such as gift cards and in the case of this video Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or Xbox Game Pass for PC. So Microsoft Rewards is a program that you can use to earn points that you can then trade in for rewards such as gift cards like the Amazon, Target, Starbucks just to name a few and the highest value reward I think Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now I will not be giving a full overview on the program itself but the way it works in essence is you use their search engine Bing to earn the bulk of your rewards for doing searches and then you can also earn extra rewards using your Xbox One console by using the Microsoft Rewards app on the console itself if you have an Xbox One console. So let's get to it, but in essence what you need to do to get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Xbox Game Pass for PC for free is earn enough points to get your membership now unfortunately in three month intervals at some point it was for a year but now it's only for three months so earn enough points every three months to keep redeeming for three months worth of membership in the case of xbox game pass for pc that's twenty thousand four hundred points in the case of xbox game pass ultimate that is thirty five thousand five hundred points so i will make this simple i'm going to be focusing on xbox game pass ultimate and you'll see why in a little bit here but the way the math works is that you have to earn about 12,000 points per month to be able to redeem for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate every three months to keep your membership going in perpetuity. Now, another thing is that if you already have the membership, which is good, uh, because part of it does depend on you having Xbox Game Pass, it, one version of it at least, either console or ultimate, to get it for free, to earn all the points you need. But if you do not, what I recommend is, and I'm assuming there's going to be an assumption that if you are an Xbox gamer, you probably have Xbox Live Gold. What you do is you convert your membership to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for one dollar because your first month costs one dollar. I'm just going to keep this like this because the one dollar thing has been gone for so freaking long. I doubt they're changing it. So. You see right here, you get your first month for $1. Same for PC, actually. But what happens is that once you convert to Ultimate, meaning that you go from just having Xbox Live Gold to having Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, because Xbox Game Pass Ultimate includes Xbox Live Gold, it changes all your time to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate time plus one month, meaning that if you have three months left in your Xbox, Game Xbox Live Gold subscription, and you convert to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for the $1, you will now have four months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership. The caveat, of course, is that it will then auto-renew for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate unless you change it. But now, you have four months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, meaning you have four months to earn your 35,500 Microsoft Rewards points, which you can definitely do in that amount of time. So how does this work? Well, again, like I mentioned, you need to have Microsoft Rewards account at level two. Uh, it will take you a little bit to probably about a week to get to level two you're not there already it's very simple you'll it's self explanatory once you join no referrals needed of course and you need to get the Microsoft Rewards app for your Xbox console and of course have Xbox Game Pass because you get quests on there which give you rewards points as well so let's get to the math of it here so this is the Bing uh, website which you can see right here is the rewards tab and the little metal here I have 14,667 points right now. So every day you can earn 150 points by doing desktop searches. Each one is five, each search is worth five points. 20 points by doing it in the Edge browser, which I'm using right now, and that's the only really re that's the only reason I use the Edge browser, to be honest with you. And 100 points a day by doing these searches on the Bing app on your mobile device or tablet. So this can be an Android or iOS device. 
Now this adds up to 270 points. You also have a daily set which includes these three things here. Each one paying at least 10 points. Uh, some days, like on from, from Monday through Thursday, usually the quizzes pay a little bit more than 10 points. Usually between 30 and 50, but we're just gonna give a 10 point minimum because things change, whatever, you might miss it. I always go for the lowest uh, possible thing to make sure that there's no room for error or missing it. That's another 30 points. That'll get you up to a total of 300 points per day. Now, by doing this every day, every 10 days, you get 150 points. It's actually called a streak. First it begins at 3 days for 45, then I think it's uh, 5 days for 75, so on and so forth. But in essence, you get an extra 150 points every 10 days, so which is an extra 15 points every day if you average it out. Meaning that every day, by just doing these searches, you get 315 points. Which if you do it over a month, be paid every day in a month, it's 9,450 points. Not quite there yet, but you've been keeping along. 9,450 is very close to getting your Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription covered. So it does take a little bit of uh, leeway there. Uh, meaning that you are going to have to probably have be a few days behind just based on the math of it all. But you're very close. So if you have like a bit of time and by that I mean that technically you don't earn enough in three months to get a full three months for PC just give yourself about a month buffer and you should be fine probably in perpetuity based on the math here I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee how does this work for searches and how do you do it quick because who has time to do 30 searches in a day well let's see here's what I like to do every night how I met your mother cast so Something like this where you have a line of results here. So it's um, just take a look at my point totals up there if you could. Wow, it's lagging right now. Of course, it's the best time for it to lag. But if you see, I'm just going like this. You can do this for Marvel movies or other shows or sitcoms. How I Met Your Mother, by the way, is my second most favorite sitcom of all time. Uh, not quite there yet, so... Mary Children being my most favorite sitcom of all time. I know, riveting, isn't it? And I do this every day because Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is awesome and I do not want to pay for it. And we are done. I think I did a couple extra, but that's it for that, right? So now I already got my 170 for that. And then for the, there we go, sometimes I read them. Uh, I would say Jackie Chan. Wow, okay. I guess I'm in the minority there. And we do our quizzes. And the quizzes, you don't, it doesn't matter if you get it right, by the way. For these types of quizzes. There's other kinds of quizzes that you have to pick from multiple choice that won't let you proceed until you get the correct answer, but you can keep selecting until you get the right answer. So there's no penalty for it. Actually, I'm, I stand corrected. There's one type of quiz. It's called this or that, where if you get it wrong, you don't get the points. But eh, either way, you're going to get a minimum of 10. So that's it there. So now I'm just going to do that on my mobile device later on. And then boom, that right there. And you see right here, it says keep going seven more days to go before unlocking your 150 point bonus prize. So I'll just do my mobile search, which will take again another 30 seconds or so. And then that will be my 300, technically 15 point average per day done there. Now, the next part goes to the Xbox console. I know, I know. How riveting here. This is a Microsoft Rewards application. Now, there's two components here. Uh, they have, they've had a, something called the, the monthly bonus round for the last six, seven months, but due to Microsoft's kind of inconsistency with keeping things going in perpetuity, I'm just gonna pretend it doesn't exist. And I'm gonna go with what has been around since the beginning of the app's inception, which is the weekly streak, which is this right here. So every week you have three tasks to complete on the Xbox console. Uh, two of them will involve just checking out a game or in this case, Xbox Game Pass Quests. And by the way, you have to download this on your Xbox console, meaning that if you don't have an, do not have an Xbox console, either an Xbox One, or a Series S or X, technically you cannot do this 
Hence why it's you know, harder for the PC if you don't have a console to get that for free. But anyways, you do these three tasks, so except one of them involving a store search or just showing you a game and doing some searches on a device like it says down there. Search on Bing, complete three different uh, days Bing searches. And the Achievement Hunter, which is earning three achievements over the course of a week, or it's going to be opening the Rewards app on three different days, which I open it every day, so that's not a problem. So that'll give you 100 points every week. Average it out over a, four, a month. Let's say it's four weeks, so that's going to be 400 points. But if you keep the streak going, much like on your PC, you get an extra bonus. So in this case, it tops out at 20 weeks at 2,500 uh, points for 20 weeks. Obviously, 20 weeks is a damn long time. Uh, goes into about five months. But it averages out to about another 500 points per month. So that's already another 900 points right there. So now you're up to a total of at least 10,350 points. So we have another 1,650 to go. Now granted, there is also this little part right here in the app itself. Every day you get at least two uh, options like this here where you can check out a featured game. Right now I have these two completed. As you can see there with the check mark and you have two here. So all, all these will do is it'll take you to the store to check out Paladins or check out Rocket League and it'll give you another five points. So that's another at least 10 per day. If you do it over 30 days, you get where I'm going with this, that's 300 points. Now we're at about, yeah, bad math here, 10,650, meaning we need another 1,350 points. Where are we gonna get that from? We are gonna get that from Xbox Game Pass Quests. Yeah, so this is why you need to have a membership current to get your full 12,000 every month because if you do not have Xbox Game Pass, you cannot do Xbox Game Pass Quests. I mean, you cannot get the extra points to get to your 12,000. So every day there's two quests available. Playing any Xbox Game Pass game will give you five points and logging into the mobile app will give you another five. A little bit of a pain in the butt just to do it every time, but hey, do what, do what you got to do. Turn on your Xbox, load a game, turn on your phone, load the app, and that's it. Uh, but the real uh, meat and potatoes here are for the monthly quests. Now, if you are really dedicated and you do everything on any given month, you can earn about 2,500 points on here. Maybe, maybe about closer to 3,000. 3, but that takes a lot of dedication because a lot of these quests uh, have objectives that can take a bit especially the monthly ones like you see right here you have the Forza one uh, which is earning 7,000 influence granted these are doubled because I have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate if I didn't they would just be 75 points a piece but these take quite a while and unless you really enjoy the game that it's on like I'll probably do the Forza Horizon 4 one because I really like Forza Horizon 4 and give me reason to boot it up again you can skip these the real meme tales are here especially here with this quest completionist so complete 45 daily and 15 weekly quests. The daily quests, I already went over. The weekly quests usually involve completing X amount of daily quests <laughs> and loading up a game, like just loading it. It will give you the, the rewards. And the daily quests will probably net you about 50 points per week, give or take. And so when you add that up with the quest completionist here, which by the way, to get to this, you will also pass through this. So that's another 100. So doing the math, it's, it's a rough ballpark here because of all the dailies and weeklies. But once you do all of that, you will get at least 1,500 points, which, if you've been adding up with me, will get you just above 12,000, meaning that you'll be able to redeem. If you do that three times, it's 36,000, meaning you have enough points to redeem for a three-month membership to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So you just... As I know, fun, fun, fun as that is, you just keep doing that over and over and over again, and you will not have to pay a dime for your Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription or Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription ever, as long as they don't change, the, as long as they don't change this in the near future. So that's it for that one. Now, another tip for those of you who don't have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and really don't want to spend any money on Xbox Live Gold, you can actually just do the PC version, or like the search, the Bing searches, 
get your 315 points per day and then get three months of Xbox Live Gold which will cost you 20,000 rewards points and then spend the dollar to convert to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and then you'll have four months of membership and then you go through the process again and again and again so that is it I think it's the best value for your points uh, because of the fact that a regular gift card is about 5,500 points for five bucks. Uh, I've been alternating back and forth. Right now, my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription expires next year in August. So right now, I'm working towards getting another three months because I want to make sure I get it past 2022. I'm taking a sip of breath. But yeah, that is it. Again, no referrals needed on this. It is free money, basically, because it, the membership is 15 bucks a month. And you also get other perks sometimes. Uh, like DLC for games, uh, membership to some streaming services for a little bit. They had a Disney Plus trial at some junk at some point in there earlier in the year. So I think that Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, also including EA Play for uh, console on Ultimate and for PC just on regular. And also don't forget that if you want to stream on your Android device, you need to have Ultimate. You cannot have just have PC or console. But there's a lot of benefits to the subscription. I think it's the best value in gaming. I wouldn't want to pay for it every month <laughs> because I'm so used to getting it. I've been getting Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for, or Xbox Game Pass period almost since its inception for free because of Microsoft Rewards. So even if that's a good value, I'm used to not paying for it. So why would I want to pay for it now? But that said, thank you everybody so much for joining me. I know it's a little bit long, but I wanted to go into detail so you guys know exactly what you need to do to get it for free. If you like what you've been seeing, please make sure you give it a little visit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section. Alright, go out to play some games, make some money, spend some money, see some money, don't get boned. Get boning. <laughs>